Your last song is a very intriguing song, uh, White Cats oh, right, right. on the mm. Hudson. Uh, the lyrics are really interesting here. Uh, you cover different scenarios, including uh, something from history. Anything you want to add about it? Um, sure. This little tuning issue sometimes is... Um, well... That's interesting. Uh, yeah. So I was writing this song that had a feeling more of a of a narrative than maybe I normally do. And I had certain images in my head. And I live on the Hudson River. That's what I moved to uh, the Hudson when I uh, separated from my wife at the time in 2009. And uh, um, so that, that plays large, you know, from an image standpoint. Mm -hmm. And um, the person singing the song, the speaker or the singer, mm -hmm. not me, of course, was having, you know, in a sort of a conflicted state um, in many ways, perhaps, but, you know, two women on either shore. And uh, I had the song written, and then I thought it was done, and I actually sent it to Sander, my friend, uh, Sander Hicks, and uh, um, because I thought, who else had been on these shores and also trapped? And then, of course, George Washington, <laughs> a few hundred years earlier. Uh -huh. And there was a great escape that the Continental Army made, um, which is really a lot of people still consider that, like, you know, proof that there was divine intervention. I mean, it was just the, the completely surrounded and the, this fog came in and the whole army has managed to escape. Um, so Sanders said, the song's not done. It needs a little bit at the end. And so I have to thank him for that. And the little bit at the end is, is you know, I, I said, okay, let's, let's go back to the present time and see what the guy does. Wow. Fantastic. Let's hear it. White caps on that <laughs> Got her head on her shoulders and her feet on the ground. And when I come over, there's no one around. She'd already gone, but there was a few things there. Like a note on the table and a ring on the chair. And some ice in the bucket and a picture of me. On a boat with Johanna in 2003, and a book of Wallace Stevens was open on the floor, and two glasses of red wine from the night before. White caps on the Hudson. White caps. Hudson. So I drove to see my friend over the Tappan Zee Bridge, who was not expected to see me, and she was so happy when she did. I called from over the water, and she greeted me at the door. There was no question in my mind, there was no one there the night before. She had a light in every window when I come in from the rain. She drew a towel and drew a bath. She said, you know, you're insane. And then she walked me through her mansion, built in 1902. But no matter how hard I tried, I kept thinking about you. White caps on the Hudson. White caps. Hudson. Two hundred years ago, a man paced on the same cliff, surrounded by a superior force in the British man of war ships. Knocked out and beaten, outnumbered ten to one. 
With the dawn coming up on the Palisades and the British sharpening their guns. But with great awe and wonder, he saw fog coming in from the heights, enveloping the whole scene just minutes before the fight. So the general, he ordered his men onto the flatboats in a drift and escaped with the Continental Army into the mist. White caps on the Hudson. White caps on the Hudson. So I turned my car around. I paid the toll again. I never called you. Never called my friend. That is a fantastic song. <clears throat> Thank you.